So continuing, ladies and gentlemen, with the honorary professor title, we continue with honoring the most deserving individuals with the honorary professorship of the academic union in the healthcare category. We are glad to honor outstanding individuals for participating in the development of regional medicine and social sphere, implementation of innovative treatment methods and practical implementation of the latest scientific research. The title of honorary professor of the academic union Oxford is presented to Professor Dr. Debbie Suzanne T. Padavinsky, who is the owner of Celtec Stem Cell Center Laboratory and Banking from Indonesia. We're lucky enough, ladies and gentlemen, to have Professor Dr. Debbie Suzanne T. Padavinsky. Yeah. With us now. Okay. And she has agreed to answer a few questions to us. Good sure, afternoon, sure. Professor. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Mr. Good. Geoff Johnson. Very pleased to meet you again. I met you in Oxford. Many I years remember ago. it well. I remember <laughs> it well. Um, I, it's very kind of you to give us some time today to answer some questions. Um, sure. I've, your video is very, very impressive. Um, Thank you. And the Celtech Stem Cell Centre Laboratory and Banking stands amongst the business leaders of Indonesia. Can you tell us perhaps briefly about your country's advantages? Uh, sure, thank you. Very good question, uh, Mr. Jav. Oh, well, I, will, I got married in London 28 years ago, but I'm Indonesian. And Indonesia is the biggest archipelago country of the world with 17,504 islands. Wow. This is the official number that has been registered to the United Nations. Since Indonesia lies in the tropical region, we encounter landscape with uniques and beauty. Some cannot be found in any other tropical regions in the world. And sunshine usually present 80% of the daytime throughout the year. We have 34 provinces with, you can imagine, 270 million people. Among the other countries in the Asia continent, wonderful Indonesia has valuable economic aspect for both business extension and investment that benefits in country's geographical location, growth and demography and opportunity related to the fast growth of the country's middle classes. This bringing that increasing number of consuming class and this provides a higher chance of success for foreign investors Beside that, Indonesia currently implement one door permit policy based on latest information technology system. And our president, current president of Republic Indonesia, Joko Widodo, with good vision, applied proper strategies and aware, had chosen the best approaches for implementation to most of the islands, including the royal sultans spread in some regions. And one of them is the king of Bali, this is discussed about culture and tourism. I proudly mention Bali, uh, since I belong to the royal family in this kingdom of Singaraja. Wow. Mentioning Bali, it may be quite relevant to touch on tourism, a very inter interesting intersection that our stem cell business plan included medical tourism as a close diversity business plan. We believe that integration of tourism with medical visits will provide visitors double advantages. This might be the welcome event with the pandemic problem is completely over. Now, what is in fact the advantages? We admit that beautiful climate and all the attractive aspects that I raised before are no doubt supporting to keep us aware on all pressure and stresses during this pandemic. However, we are also aware that there should be a good balancing between stress control and duties. Otherwise, we may sleep too far with enjoying our free time. Medical tourism is one and the four. The other is the international networks that keep us always aligned with the progress changes in medical related wellness, well-being. Well, this is anti-aging medicine. And the advantages will be twofold, not only to our customer, but to us as well, because the link will by itself provide mutual benefit. This will add the other advantages to the whole and the full. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid, that was a very, very good and full answer. Thank you. Um, may I ask you another question? Today, the Celtec STEAM, STEM Cell Center Laboratory and Banking is receiving a very prestigious award. And may I say that you look wonderful in your gowns. 
uh, as a part of it. Um, What does this award mean for you and your team? Thank you, Geoff. Uh, I think this is very important. This is my second uh, professor degree, but this is uh, the first one from Barcelona as I teach there in the International University in Barcelona and director program for anti-aging medicine. But this tonight in Indonesia is already evening, afternoon in uh, your time. This prestigious award obviously bring a lot of pride to our Celtech Stem Cell Center and our Finsky group. It provides additional trust to our team and customer on the seriousness of our management to bring Celtech Stem Cell Center name worldwide. Not only does it gain promotional value, but the link and network as its ongoing effects on the international reach and range also open up wide opportunities in escalating high quality performance and professional values. Well, it's my high appreciation indeed to Oxford Academic Union, to the Senate board with very famous name, no doubt. Thank you, Oxford. Thank you. I have one more question, if you'll permit me. You've mentioned that sure. you work in Barcelona, uh, you teach in Barcelona, and obviously you are very well travelled, and that is part of your work. But is participation in international forums and conferences important for your business? Yes, uh, Job, indeed. It is the most important fa- factors, either in our Finsky group, because we also have aviation company, so we sell and rent uh, aeroplane. Uh, this is based in Singapore, or either in our financial bank since 1993, or other type of bank, which is I have stem cell bank. So the other is bank for finance, the other bank for the stem cell. And our company joined international conference, especially. I'm president of the World Council of Preventive Medicine in Paris. It is embedded in my responsibility to visit so many forums and conferences, and also as international speaker. So for so many years, I missed my trip actually. Yes. After the pandemic, I never do any, tri- any trip anymore, hopefully uh, soon. In the past, I always speak in the Monte Carlo Monaco Anti-Aging Congress in Paris, also in London, because my mother-in-law is there, 102 years old. He lives in, a, in the Bournemouth. And I also speak in Geneva, St. Petersburg, New Delhi, and so many other countries I cannot mention all. Because World Council covers region and countries within 74 country members. And my advisor, uh, so many presidents of the country become advisor of anti-aging medicine, like President Duterte from Republic of Philippines, and uh, President Rustam Nikanov from Republic of Tatarstan, Russia, and our Vice President Yusuf Kala, Vice President number 10 and 12 of Republic Indonesia and many other leaders in the, in the world. I must manage my affordable balance as I have to make many international trips. But it compensates with the wide scope of knowledge, gains of experience I got anyway. And World Council had office lies in Paris and I have to manage myself to look after it as well. Maybe I should appreciate the positive side of the pandemic where new means of the digital communication become so popular so that this helps solving so many communication problems. Oh, like we are enjoying now, Jeff. Yes. Thank you. No, I insist, thank you.